Hello folks, Farm Revel Extreme here. Welcome back to Court Farm for episode 44. This bit's going to be a little bit shorter because for a reason during recording there was a little hiccup so first 10 minutes of the episode has been just completely erased, data is erased but anyways what we're doing at the moment or what we have done is we spent a million pounds on new land, new equipment and we just fed our cows the hay and we bought a bunch of hay in and some other bits. So yep, back to the episode now and hopefully you enjoy it. And there we go, we are in technically March now, but since this episode is going to come out around Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, not too sure yet because I am batch recording a bunch of episodes, but regardless, yeah, I thought we'd get a little bit festive, got a few trees and that. And several Superman for as you can see. I've even got some more Christmas lights by the entrance, so let's have a look at that in a sec. Gonna be heading that direction anyways, because we need to do a few things. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, a bit of indigestion there. But yeah, we need to fill up all of our greenhouses because they're running low. And our animals are running low on water as well. And especially, we're in March now, but boy, are we getting snow. Like, hopefully, it hasn't settled. It's been so all night. If you look at the forecast, uh, oh uh, well, there's no who you are for that, so. But yeah, it's going to be absolutely freezing cold. Well, pretty much from now till April, for some reason. That can't be right. Surely not. Is it going to be have a ice age moment? But I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's two of the greenhouses done, and we've got another five to go. So yeah, let's go and have a look here and see what what has been put up here. Oh, look at that. just moved the camera back, I'm not sure how this is going to affect the recording, but yeah, just look at that, like Christmas trees and that. So yeah, what I'm going to do is not chat for a sec. And, and yeah, we're going to have a little look here, so, because I'm not sure on how the voice is going to pick up over the music from this. And hopefully at the same time I don't get copyrighted as well. Nice little feature, but boy, was that deafening! Like, trying to mess around with some of my settings here, like my audio settings are within the game here loaded up. I'm sure if you go into the main menu, but god, is that deafening! Like, even with my headset, I had to adjust the volume. Like, I've just got the volume just enough for, for when I'm playing normally. I can still hear the engine noises and everything else, and it's just. It's just enough for me, it is compared to me hearing over myself speaking and that. It's fine, no issues, but God, was that deafening. Obviously, when you folks listen to this, it ain't gonna be as deafening because I'm gonna make sure to tweak the audio section there in the recording because God, was that deafening, but it's a nice little thing. It is a nice little thing now, so it's, yeah, it's Christmas, well, it's either Christmas tomorrow or today's Christmas Day when this video goes out, but obviously viewership, I can expect main views, because I myself can be celebrating Christmas well with my family and loved ones, 
Got to see my mum on Christmas Day, spend time with her, and then me personally got to spend time with my old man, my dad and that. On Boxing Day, may see him Christmas Day as well. Not sure if he yet depends on how it all goes. But yeah, just yeah, it's the end of another year now. Another year come and gone. And yeah, whatever the same goes. But yeah, uh, I'm thankful for everything. As well, when this comes out, there is going to be a sure there's going to be a Christmas special. Little thanks and that. Batch of, uh, I'm botching this up, they're doing botching the other recording. But yeah, for me, first, it's, it's hard to put words today on how to describe things. Yeah, apart from that, it's me with my autism and my Asperger's. It's like me point my view across, like show, show my feelings in a way. <coughs> yeah, that is that is a difficult thing for me. If you know autism, you know with Asperger's syndrome, you know exactly what I'm on about here. But it's hard at the best of times, but I will get through it. Heck it, the channel is sort of semi-successful for me personally. Like. Yeah, I've well, never really thought when I first set it out I would have had decent viewership and that and just everything else, like Okay, fair enough. I have not helped by going A Wall for six months and that. Well yeah, that's just part of it. That's, that's how it is sometimes for me personally. Go for a bit of hardship and that. It's, yeah, it's one of those things. We all go through our good times, we all have our bad times and a recent thing, like, I know for the last month or two, that we missed the videos, like, he's been doing, like, what we call, like, a percentage. And I'm not sure if he's seen it from iVlogs, but I've seen a video recently on TikTok, I think it is. I'm not a TikTok person or anything like that, but I've seen the clip from TikTok by iVlogs. But basically, it's, yeah, rate your percentage on how you feel in. Obviously, zero is like depressed and all that, whatever. And 100 is, 100% is happy, cheerful, best mood ever, pretty much. So, yeah, I like the idea behind that. It's like, yeah, especially us men, but also women. I'm not saying women don't, but typically with men as well, from what I've seen personally, my own life experience, like, just mental health in general. It is, it's one of those things, yeah, it's taboo in that in a way, but it should be taboo, but even though it may not be taboo, it just feels taboo, if you know what I mean. But yeah, like me, myself personally, I've gone from my struggles in life and that. Yeah, been there, done that. I've got a t shirt, got the scars to show it with depression and that. I, yeah, I've many years ago and. Even recently, as of trying to think, 20, yeah, 2018, I was in a proper depressive state. Had therapy and all that. First time when I was younger, in my teens and that, about 10 years ago. It worked out well for me, but yeah, that time I've been to therapy personally, yeah, didn't really work out. Uh, it's just, it's one of those things, it's, everyone has their own coping mechanisms. With the kind of fucked up world we're in at the moment, regardless of the politics and that sh bollocks and all, bollocks and everything and that, yeah, <laughs> as you mean it recently, yeah. My first side is coming up with, with me doing these videos. I'm just a straight up person, I say it as I see it, and yeah, a lot of it is just bloody shit in that, it's like crap, rubbish, whatever word you want to describe it. And yeah, it just brings a lot of people down. Like, yeah, personally, like, knowing what I've seen on what you see online, but even day to day life is just. With everything being all digital nowadays, yeah, it's just that human connectivity and that seems to be missing in that. Or at least to me personally, with everything now, like, yeah, I'm 27. Recently turned 27 two weeks ago and just yeah but 
yeah, it comes with the territory, the world changes, of course it will, it has to change, but me personally, this is going to be another round before I move on from the topic, because I know this will upset at least one person, I know, but state of the world we live in, I'm going to go this way so you can hear the Christmas tunes, like, it's gone to pot a bit with this whole wokeness and all that stuff, it's, it's pathetic, especially with AI and that, the things I've seen, like, being developed AI, like, these girlfriends or whatever, it's like, come on, like, how just desperate, and just also, it's desperate, I'm not blaming the person, I blame the companies for these, like, it's basically room men putting these AI women out, like, it's hard to believe. And the worst thing is, so much of it's gone so realistic to a degree, like, it's hard to even like it at times, since you know what you're seeing and what to look out for. It is extremely realistic that with AI now, and that's a scary thing. Obviously, I'm not going to touch on news and all that stuff. I've seen many deep fake Elon Musk videos and that. Even when, like, Lion's Tech Tips got hacked and that, and with the whole Tesla scam and that stuff. I'm not getting into that, that's a whole different subject, that is. And that's something, it's sort of what this channel about, but times where you just want to rant and that. But yeah, back to what I was saying about the companies and that, with these AI e girls and that. It's creepy, it's disgusting. And just in general, like, I know I've seen it with the American education system. I'm from the UK, in case you, some folks don't know, but what you see, like, in the States and that, like, the attitude towards gender and all that, and just binary this, non binary that, it's, it's gone mad in a way. Fair enough, be, be comfortable who you are. Be you however you want to be. That itself I've got no issues with. As long as you're happy and all that, I don't care what you identify as. My personal problem is the enforcement of it being shoved down your throats every day in a way. Especially if you're online and that. It's just a general society of education system, whatever it is. All this being shoved down your throat like here in the UK recently, like government put out a little guideline on pronouns and that, and that's a good thing, in a way, with basically not following it, it's basically schools don't have to necessarily follow the pronouns of a child, especially a child, that is, again, a whole hot topic issue, and TLDR is, unless you're over the age of 18, you're either still, regardless, a biological man or a biological woman. Whatever your chromosomes are, that's you. But yeah, things like being shoved down the young generation's throat in that, it's like, what has the world come to in that? Like, seriously, it's like, it's mad in that, in a way, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna quickly go off topic here, because this is a Christmas special and I'm getting very. Uh, what's the word you see in say? It's like conservative views. Yeah, I'll say a bit more conservative, but I'd rather use the word more of a traditional bloke. In a way, a bit old school in certain ways. That's why, like, for me personally, I'm part of the bike pro and motorcycle club scene. Like, your MCCs and MCs, depending on, again, if you're states or whatever, if you're states. It's your MCs, motorcycle clubs, 1%. Here in the UK, it's both 1% MCs, as well as your MCCs, non backpatch clubs, and that. But yeah, I can do to a degree, I can do a discussion on that. If folks are interested in that, let me know. So, yeah, I do mind sharing some bits of my personal life, but again, it's if. That's if you don't want to hear it, if you're interested in some of my stories, because, oh boy, I have many stories, especially in the bike scene, like, me personally, I've been in the bike scene for, what, 
27 now, so yeah, best bar 10 years. And yeah, it's one of the best things I've ever done in my life. That's maybe who I am, especially with autism and that. As it's highs and lows, but it's one of the things that comes to the territory does sometimes in yeah, just I'm getting lost in the train of thought and that. It's like in my head it makes all sense. Me trying to speak it out and explain to you folks and to anyone else in general. That is a hard thing for me. Like again, if you know autism and Asperger's Asperger's syndrome, you know exactly what I'm on about here, but anyways Let's do a time lapse, I think. Yes, a little upbeat moment. Time lapse, so yeah. We'll be doing the water. I am going through the hedgerows because I want to avoid that music and that. And the time lapse is not a problem because I can just edit out the audio, that's not an issue, but. Because yeah, we need to sort out the water for our animals, so. Also, we've got contracts to do on 20, 123, and 139, so. We'll get those done. But yeah, court farm, sheep, they're fine. Stonebridge farm, need a bit of water. Uh, court farm cows are fine. Could deal with more grass soon for the rabbits. And uh, yeah, definitely need more hay bells and that, or, or sausage bells, whatever, for the cattle. Actually, you know what? Let's buy a bunch of bells for that. Get our water topped up and that. And then we'll resume afterwards by doing some contracts. There we go, we are done. So we got all the bells over. I think we spent a fair bit of money on it, but in fairness, we've got the money at the moment spent on the cows, so that means we could let the grass grow, because yeah again, I don't know when we'll be able to get a good cut in that. Maybe because yeah, it's like minus five in that. Yeah, it depends on when the weather lifts up, because at the moment, looking at the forecast, we're having snow until April. So if that's going to be the case, then... Yeah, so much for a white Christmas, so what about a, a white spring? But yeah, so, whilst I was waffling on, especially during that rant, with a ranty pants moment there, we've spent a million quid on new land, and about another almost 200 grand on a brand new tractor and you think why does this cost 200 grand that's because we have a look under large tractors we've got the lizard 355 automatic and it's 355 horsepower so 
not as big as our other behemoths, nor as treacherous we forgot, but it's a small, agile, I think. Very crash prone, especially when you can't drive. Oh, do tell me I've got it stuck. Come on now, use that power. There we go, good boy. Ideal to go right here, because that means this way curve I have to make. But yeah, so let's have a look at our new land. So if we have a look at the PDA, we've bought fields 88, 90, 100, and 14. So wait a minute, it's 100 got wheat in it already. Was that planted by the previous farmer? Yes, yeah, so we've got wheat in there already. I will be cultivating that up because I've got plans for that field. And for whatever reason, this field here, weird worker, like, well, weird automatic glitch in that. Oh, there's a section of potatoes, so. Yeah, that I'm not too sure on. Also, stones, how are we for stones? All of them are bad. Bad, 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 so. We'll be ripping those up and sorting out. Why am I going to make the exception is field 14, because that's got nothing in it, right? No. So field 14 will be a good field for the sugar beet. That's because it's generally a long field now, it's not too intrusive in that. In a way, uh, yeah, we need sugar now to also make sugar, or sugar beet to make sugar. Yeah, that just makes sense to keep sure going. I doubt I'm going to do cookies again because we made so much money from those cookies, they're quite OP. Just a little skip for that little second section there, so. Yeah, you know, like 39 miles an hour this can go. It's like so fast, it's like jittering as we're going along, so. Definitely worth the investment. And breaks. Man, these sop on the dime, this does, so... These are solid for me, so... 14 is somewhere on our left around here. Because, yeah, I want to get this drilled. And the plan done, but I think because of all the ranting I've been doing, we're going to be running out of time here, so we'll finish this off in the next episode. Yeah, it's a decent sized field. Also, I think we can have access to this area here. I think we'll make a little payment because technically that land is part of the agri cooperative, but we do have the option of purchasing like this half of the field here, so that's gonna be about 125 grand or so. But yeah, if we purchase that, then again that's another field for us. Have I gone past the gate? Yes, I have. So here is the gate. The gate is already open for whatever reason. Can we get this in though? I'm trying to do this sort of semi realistically without going through all the hedges and that constantly, but come on, it's just about big enough. Come on, squeeze through. To go left, left hand down on this, so we're still hitting. Oh gosh darn it, come on. There we go, we got through eventually. See how it gets baby unfolded. And yeah, I know this whole plan for that is not really suitable for the area, and that I know that. I, I rather like it. I don't know, I do. And there we go, we are drilling in the snow. Hopefully we don't have any issues with frosty soil and that, like the frost and moisture that in the soil. Especially we'll find out when it warms up now, because if this fills just becomes a absolute bucket of mud fest then that's going to be an issue because that will be problem with washed away and eroded. 
especially where it's downhill, all the seeds will just go downhill and we'll just have a rough patch of cropping that. But I am optimistic on that. Well, you got to be optimistic. Comes to the challenges of farming, I guess, but... Anyways, that is where I'm going to leave it today, so next episode will be out on... Christmas Day slash Boxing Day, depends on if this comes out Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. There'll be a back-to-back -back episode at least with the upload schedule. I'm doing a batch of recordings, like this is currently on the 22nd, so I was getting a bunch of videos recorded and then I was going to spend a few days just having a good Christmas, spending time with family and friends and that, going on bike rides with my bros and that, maybe, and whatever else, but Anyways, that's what I'm going to leave it today, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, smash that button, feel free to down below, if you want to share us then please be my guest, if you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider, but what I just to do, hope you're going to stay, but for now, it's me from Evo Extreme, and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll see you all very soon.